Neurologist at the Kolebo Teaching Hospital, Dr. Albert Akpalu, has bemoaned the inadequacy of CT scans at health facilities in the country to aid the management of stroke, which is one of the three common causes of mortality in Ghana. He made the observation at a National Stroke Survivors Day Symposium in Accra. Stroke is one of the nerve conditions with risk factors such as smoking, hypertension, alcoholism, high cholesterol, physical inactivity, diabetes, among others. 40% of stroke patients die within 30 days in sub-Saharan Africa. The disease prevalence is now high among the youth in Ghana. One in four persons are potential stroke patients. We're having more strokes in young people less than 55 years of age, so that is bad news. We don't have a CT scan in every region. So northern region, maybe Tamale, one. All the new regions, none. Sunyang works sometimes, doesn't work. Who? Western region, big oil has one, sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't work. Cape Coast works, sometimes it doesn't work. Accra. Sometimes our own hospital sometimes it works, it doesn't work. So we need functional CT scan in every regional hospital to change the narrative of stroke. 14-year-old Caleb suffered a stroke at the age of three. His father, John Jido, cannot comprehend the financial burden of raising a child with stroke and special needs. At a point in time, I, I lost my job. The mother also left me. I had to do everything by myself. There was a time I thought of uh, putting poison in the food so that both of us would just eat and then any day. Any time we go, we spend about 150 cities on uh, speech, OT, and physio. So it got to a time I couldn't, I couldn't uh, take him there again because they were recommending uh, three, three uh, visits in a week. Which, which will cost about 600 cities every week, which I cannot afford. President of the Stroke Association Network Ghana, Dr. Ben Jabuni, is advocating stroke units at every district hospital. At least one stroke unit in each district. Here we have just got uh, Kolebu, uh, then we have one in Akonfonache, I believe, but uh, here that there is one developing in Cape Coast, one developing in Sunyani, and one developing in Tamale. Uh, but um, these should have already been in operation. What about all those people suffering uh, stroke in these regions? Uh, they just hide them at home until they die. One person suffers a stroke every five seconds worldwide, according to the WHO putting massive burdens on families and communities. 